Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Corrojan back at it again. Today, I want to share my thoughts on this new game that I played for the PS5. It's called Operation Tango. You might have heard of it. It just came out on Tuesday, June 1st. Uh, simply put, it's a co-op spy kind of puzzle strategy game and it's quite a unique one must I say I've actually only played a handful of games that were like this one before first off the game requires that you have a partner with a microphone that you can communicate in game with at all times secondly the only way to get into a game with another person for now is by invite only and that can be done by providing or being provided with a session code from the game's discord server which I found was actually very alive and friendly so you know you definitely can see the game has been well received uh, people seem really interested in trying this game out. Now, once you get the code, you'll be loaded into a pre-match with the other player, which will allow you to select between two characters, uh, the agent and the hacker. Whichever character you select does determine who you play as and what your role is on that team. So like as the agent, your job is to be on the ground and to complete the objective that's stated, which can be something as simple as cracking a code, uh, getting into a vault and stealing information. The agent plays in first person view and has to relay information to the hacker, which can only be done with the game voice chat now the hacker however is in a private location nearby and the only thing they can see is their interface on their computer and the software they're hacking through now your job as the hacker is to communicate with the agent on what to do next you can open up doors you can track surveillance cameras disable security measures uh, but most importantly help solve puzzles which I believe is the best part of what makes this game so awesome the in-game voice chat and game volume is a bit buggy as of the making of this video but after a few tries I was actually able to get into a game and launch the first level with no issues playing as the agent as you load into the game it reminds you that you must communicate only by voice and you cannot see or share the other players screen at any time now the game starts you out in an elevator and to lighten up the seriousness of the whole mission you and your partner can actually have some fun as they change the theme of the elevator with options like a Halloween theme winter and even my personal favorite which was that summer theme I thought that was cool playing as the agent I couldn't help but notice how different the aesthetics in this game look it almost reminded me of that one mystery game uh, Firewatch it was just like the look and the feel of it even though I've never actually played the game but I have seen gameplay of it like everything felt separated but there's also a mysterious vibe to the world once you get into the game. Also, the whole time you're playing, you can actually speak to and communicate information with your partner, which in my case here was the hacker, as you can see, and they were helping me progress through this level. Our job was actually to reach the penthouse and open the vault door in that first mission. The puzzles in this game are very much cooperative, and uh, you must work together with your partner to solve them in real time. So, for example, uh, the first terminal saw us hacking into the vault door together, and we were playing a maze-like game where half of the controls were made by myself and the other half were made by my partner. On a side note, the colors in this game are very bright and they're vibrant and everything stands out easily so that makes the co-op experience the main focus because you're not trying to look around and focus too much on the actual mechanics of the game. So as you approach the vault room, there's another puzzle that has you relaying colors and numbers on terminals to your hacker buddy as they scramble the key in the codes while the security lasers are attempting to catch you in such that short time that you have honestly this took us some time but we finally opened the vault terminals we activated the final terminal which has us in another maze like snake kind of game that was kind of tedious uh, but then the vault finally opened and once the vault opened there's actually one last puzzle after you found your objective to complete which is just like a reflection puzzle that has you explaining the picture you have on your end to the hacker to replicate it so you know the first mission it was simple it was not too hard a little tedious I'll say that but it definitely allows you to understand understand the basis of what the game is like. Now as we played into the second mission, which was so much fun, I switched roles with my partner and took on the mission as the hacker. Honestly, being a hacker to me is very fun. I enjoyed decoding and observing surveillance cameras, trying to guide my friend on the ground while they traverse through those different floors. This mission had us in Canada breaking into a mainframe server room in a very much cyber attack like hacking and stealth infiltration mission. The hacking portion of this was at first a a little daunting as you're only on a computer so it doesn't actually allow you to do anything but navigate on a screen so at first you might actually feel a little lost but 
as you explore things, like I said, the surveillance cameras, uh, talking to your agent on the ground, transferring access ID cards, and just overall using the information that the agent that you're working with is providing you on the ground to help break into that server room, it really showed this game's true light as this mission really encompassed what I've always wished a spy game would be like. The sheer detail that was put into this game is something to appreciate. For instance, I remember we had to set an appointment for the current time for the ID card that I had transferred to my agent so that when the system recognized it is that time, the door that we needed to gain access to, it would open up with that key card. So it's details like this that really shine in this game and I'll be honest, without my teammate, I would not have known that because they had provided me with the information on their end to change that appointment. The game might seem complex, but there is simplicity behind it, such as one moment I was just guiding my teammate by looking at a live floor plan of multiple rooms that had drones to reach that door they were trying to get to without being spotted or something as simple as overriding an elevator with a code that's given to you by your teammate. The game does have simplicity in it. There were also some cool mini games to change things up from the intense puzzle solving and then once you get deeper into the mission, the cooperative experience really outdoes everything. In fact, if you don't work together and your communication is not creative with your partner, things can actually get really difficult and I can imagine people getting stuck on one mission for a long time if their communication is not on point. The coolest thing I enjoyed in this mission is the cyber look and the cyber feel that truly makes you feel like you are a hacker in every aspect. I even remember telling my teammate, I was like, man, I feel like I'm Jarvis hacking into a mainframe system because of how genuine the hacking experience truly did feel. Playing both sides has its pros and cons, but all in all, this game is based solely on communication and teamwork. The ability to work with someone in tandem on multiple tasks, uh, fail together, you know, laugh at your own mistakes, progress through different missions, uh, play different mini games, solve puzzles, but ultimately build chemistry. It really shows that Operation Tango has a lot of potential as a two player online co-op game. It really takes two to tango. In a world where we don't really see many games like these anymore, maybe for like the Nintendo Switch, but it would be awesome to see a three player or even a four player version of this game where everyone has different roles and tasks that they have to fulfill and to complete the overall common objective. You know, this game is sure one of the most unique games that I've ever seen come free as a PS Plus monthly lineup, but if you're pairing it with other games that we saw this month for PS Plus, like Star Star Wars Squadrons and Virtual Fighter 5. I mean, June is really looking to be a surefire month for free games on PlayStation. And I'd love to hear if you guys got your hands on the game yet, being that it is free. And uh, if you did, how has your experience been? Would you guys recommend it to a friend? Um, would you guys pair up with someone else? Also, if anyone's looking to link up on Operation Tango, you can always hit me up. I'd love to pair up and solve a few puzzles. But until next time, I'll catch you guys later. This is Corrogen, and I'm out.